Hi guys, this is Hina with Merle Norman Rock Hill. I'm here to talk about our new collection. It technically comes out on November 1st, but we've already got it in stores. Um, so you can go ahead and pick it up. It's the Winter Color Collection. So I've got, I'm going to talk about the palette today. It's really neat. This is, um, the palette's a lot prettier than this, but I don't have one in front of me. So you get six different eyeshadows from here over. Those are your eyeshadows. And then two different blushes. This one kind of acts as a blush or a bronzer, the Wild Honey. And then the Pink Dream is a really nice blush. So I've already put those on. Um, I did the Wild Honey, the darker one, in more of my contour. And I use it kind of like a bronzer. So I put a little bit around my forehead, um, the sides of my nose, and then underneath my cheekbone. And then take the Pink Dream and just put some of that like on the apples of your cheeks to give a little more brightness. Um, and then I'm going to do the eyeshadow, one of the winter eyeshadow looks for you guys. Um, and then I'll come back and talk about the lipsticks. There's five new plush lipsticks. Um, so if you're familiar with that line, it first came out a couple months ago with our fall collection. They came out with 17 shades in the plush lipstick. And I'm wearing one of the original 17 shades, the City Girl. That's what I've got on right now. So they're a really fun formula that stays on better than anything I've ever tried. And they're nice and creamy and hydrating too. So we've got five new shades in that. I'll, I'll do another video about those later. But for now, I'm going to show you some eyeshadows. So what I've already got on my eyes, just to save time, is my eyeshadow primer. Um, it's just the, the one in the little squeeze tube. I didn't bring it down with me. But that is my favorite. I use that every day. Prime your eyes all the way from your lash line to your brow bone. And then I sweep a little underneath my eye, and that keeps your eyeliner in place. So then I put some of the Shadow Stick in Bronze Age. It's a really fun, it's an eyeshadow on its own, but it's a nice base for your color. That's the Bronze Age. has a little shimmer, and I just sweat that underneath my eye, and then I put it kind of all over my eyelids. I don't know if you can see that. So for my lashes, up to where my crease starts. And then I went ahead and kind of tight-lined my eyes with the Earthy Eyeliner. That's a soft touch pencil in earthy. It's kind of a purpley, it almost looks black unless you see it against black. But it's like a deep, smoky plum. So I've got that on my waterline and then a little bit underneath my lash line here. And then just a little bit along my lash line on the top. And so now I'm going to start with the eyeshadows. So I'm going to get one of my favorite brushes. I use the face number eight brushes a lot. Those are actually a concealer brush, but if you've seen my other tutorials, you know I love these for eyeshadow as well as concealer. So I'm going to take the lightest shade. This is my highlighter. It's the Moon Dust right here. So I'm going to get a good amount of that and then sweep it along my brow bone and then kind of that inner corner just to give some brightness. You don't have to worry about taking a lot of time with that one because... It's a light shade. Take your time with your darker shades and be precise with those because if you mess it up, it's really hard to erase that and kind of blend it. Okay, so I'm going to take another of my Face 8 brushes and I'm going to take just a little bit of the Topaz. And I don't know if they show up very true to color on here. So Topaz is really like a soft, warm brown. And then I'm going to do the Smoky Plum. That one's got a lot more purple to it. So the Topaz first. I'm going to put that one in like kind of my upper crease. So that'll be my transition shade to my crease. And then sweep that back and forth in kind of a windshield wiper motion. A little bit for the other eye. And what I'm doing today is kind of a smoky eye. So I that was really, really popular about five or more years ago. Um, but it's really a classic. You can always do a smoky eye and it's forever going to be one of my favorite looks. So I'll come on here and do another tutorial that's not as much of a smoky eye. But this is a very soft one. It, I'm not using black. I'm not using any harsh colors. So you can wear this daytime. It's appropriate for the office or whatever you're doing. Um, but then it also is something you can use for like Thanksgiving and Christmas parties and all the upcoming seasonal festivities. So it's a very versatile look. And 
then I am going to take one of my eye spore brushes. It's like kind of an angled one. Um, and I'm going to take the Smoky Plum and just put some of that in my crease and give kind of defined outer corner. I don't know if you can see that. So kind of draw, it's like a sideways seven. So in your crease is like the long stem of the seven and then the top of it is extending from your crease to your lash line. So it creates kind of this barrier for your eyeshadow. Then you know when you're blending, don't go past that. Especially when you're using darker colors. I've talked about this before, but I'll just do a refresher. You want to hold up, you can do something imaginary or just to get the idea, hold up one of your brushes from the outside corner of your nose to the corner of your eye. That's where your eyebrow should stop even if yours don't, most people stop a little short of that. Um, that's where your eyebrow should stop. And your eyeshadow should stop roughly between that corner and the tip of your eyebrow. So you can blend it out and smoke it out just a little bit. That's what I like to do. Um, but you don't want it, you don't want to drag your eye down or have your eyeshadow smeared way too far out. Then it doesn't look like a smoky eye, it just looks like a mess. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Do my little sideways seven. And again, this is with the Smoky Plum. That's that one there. All the shades I've used so far are completely matte. In the collection, there is one really shimmery one, the Quartz, and I'll show that one in a later tutorial. And then the Sapphire has a little bit of a shimmer, not a lot, but all the others are very matte. We've had a lot of requests for that, so definitely pick up this palette. These seasonal collections, if you're not aware, they are always limited edition. So it's like first come, first serve. If you love it, go snag it up before it's gone. All right, so I'm not gonna worry too much about blending it yet. I'll do that when I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and take just a little bit of the Smoky Plum with that same angled shadow brush and go over top of where I put the shadow stick and my eyeliner just to smoke that out and kind of smudge it. That's a really fun makeup artist trick. It takes your eyeshadow from looking just kind of basic to looking like you had it professionally done. Putting a little eyeshadow underneath your eye. Same thing on the other eye. And you might be wondering why I even used the shadow stick because I am gonna completely cover it up. Um, but I like to use those to kind of reinforce my colors. So it's just a way of, it's like a cream base product. So when you put a cream base on there with some pigment, I mean, it's, it's not dark, but it's like a medium shimmery brown. That gives you a nice base to put another color on top of. So since we're doing a smoky eye, it'll make my darker colors stick and look even. So I won't get this splotchy, like kind of dark here and light and, um, or where you can't build it to get enough depth. So that's what the, the purpose of the shadow stick is. And then I'm going to take another of my Face 8 brushes and I'm going to blend some of this Smoky Plum again, I'm using a lot of this color, um, all over my lid. That's the one going on top of the Bronze Age. And it's fine if you're getting it on top of your eyeliner. That was the purpose of putting my eyeliner on first so that I can smoke it out. As opposed to like a cat's eye, you would do your eyeliner afterwards so that that is the most crisp feature. So just kind of blend that around. Same thing on the other eye. I don't know why I say that. That's obvious. You want your eyes to match. Somehow I feel the need to, to just make sure you know. So blend those. And then this is the color that scares most people in every palette. It's always the blue. I think everybody's afraid of looking like Tammy Faye Baker is what I hear quite often. This will not look like that. We are not trying to make anybody look like Tammy Faye Baker. Um, it's a deep, deep blue. It's a sapphire. So honestly, when it goes on your skin, it looks more like a deep kind of a plum with just a little blue hint. And so I'm going to show you. It doesn't look crazy and it doesn't look like 90s. Um, so I'm taking a little bit of that on my angled shadow brush. And I'm just going to sweep that along my lash line to give just a little more depth over top of where my eyeliner is. 
I'm not going to go all the way to the inner corner of my eye because I don't want that to be real dark. You want your darkest colors on more of the outer corner of your eye and you want them to transition to a lighter shade on the inside corner. And you can do almost like a blended little cat's eye, that little flick at the end. That's one of my favorites. I'm not sure if you can see the difference in my two eyes. The lighting here is not real great. It's kind of kind of dim. Um, but this one has a little bit of that sapphire just right along my lash line. And again, I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. The sapphire also looks really good in your crease as a darker color. So um, maybe I'll incorporate that into another tutorial later just so you have two different options for using the sapphire. And I'll try to get one of the compacts to show you guys. It's a really neat compact because it's got, it's very travel friendly or if you just want to keep everything concise and like consolidate on your makeup um, station, very official, your makeup station. Um, it's nice because it's got a really big mirror so that helps if you're traveling or if you have to have to ever throw it in your purse for anything um, and it just has everything in one compact you just open it up and just you got your whole palette and I'm just gonna take a tiny bit I know I said I wasn't gonna use this one but just a little bit of that quartz color and I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that in my inside corner to keep that light and bright because that's the trick with the smoke yeah you don't want it all dark and dim you've got to have the balance of light and dark so that it doesn't look like you have a black eye. It looks intentional. And sometimes I'll take a little bit of my shimmery color and just pop it like on the top of my nose, um, the bridge of my nose. So just a little bit of highlighter. It's nice and quick. You've already got it on your brush. Um, you can do a little bit on top of your Cupid's bow. We actually have a new highlighter, so I'll show you that. Um, or two. That would probably be a better thing to use. This is the new highlighter. It's called Candlelight, and it's really hard to tell in this light. But it's it's got a little bit of shimmer, but not a lot, because a lot of you have expressed concerns about your, you want to highlight, but you don't want to be like glittery. Or if you're oily skin, you don't want to make it look like you're already oily when you first put your makeup on. So this is a really nice highlighter, and I'll I'll feature that later. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you get to the end and you feel like you've covered up too much of your eyeliner, just go back and reinforce that a little bit um, in your lash line. Um, or if it feels too dark, then always take your the brush you use with your lightest color, the one we put up at your brow bone, and just blend some over top. So there's a lot you can do with it. Um, and then I'm going to throw on a couple coats of a real volumizing mascara so that kind of balances the look of everything. Um, and of course, I've already done my eyebrows with my favorite brow sculpting pencil. So if you don't have one of those, that is wonderful. So that about wraps it up. I'm going to show you guys my little assistant. She's been sleeping on my lap this whole time. This is Amelia. She's our newest makeup artist. So say, say hi. She's like, what? what are you doing? You can go back to sleep. But I hope you guys have a great day. And um, drop some comments below if there is anything that you want to see in particular whether it's something from this collection or if you just want to see something um, that I've never featured, maybe skincare or other tutorials you're interested in, just let me know. Have a great day. Bye-bye.